Saturday morning. I'm here. Why am I recording this on a Saturday? We have a lot of shit to do. And we are building a brand. Well, we built one. Teddy built one. But we are just, we're maintaining. We're rebuilding. And rebuilding. And building bigger. There's a color. There's butter. There's banana. Ivory. There's a few colors. We have tank tops. This might be. Hold down a hair. I'm literally just going to take that pic. Saturday. I'm in the motherfucking lab and getting this shit ready all day, basically. And this is where you, there's no mic. Here's where someone forgot the mic. Packages from Twitch. These are the packages. That's my shoes you and just decided my socks. to show your shoes for some reason. I got oil on my shirt. I'm opening shit up, talking about popping my collar. The talking about smaller size shirt you're gonna have? I don't know. The Nalgene bottle from Twitch. Then I discover I think I discovered at this point that Hassan sent it to me. No, that comes next. I secured the bag from Twitch. They stepped it up. Cut and sew. Private label bag. Twitch. Notes from Hassan. I don't remember what we're talking about here. It's not as easy to do as you hear. You said save the best for last, and then you gave me that t-shirt. Oh, yeah, I was and like, the pillow came you out. The pillow. I showed you the pillow. Omar immediately went after the pillow. I put it in a safe place on top of the chair. We're not there yet. <laughs> See, wow. I'm chilling. You're showing off the merch. Now it's not. Now, now you put it on a safe place on yes. top of the chair. Um, we're filming the dog some more. He's still obsessing. A few minutes go by. Guess what's outside? <laughs> the fucking pillow. <laughs> so now I have to wash the pillow. Omar could give less of a fuck. He still wants it. I have to reprimand him. You're There's probably, me. Probably talking about your $600 hat. Yeah. And your fucking ears look like they're communicating with satellites across the world. <laughs> oh yeah, you must have gotten a tune from one of the satellites. <laughs> we got you. Uh, I think we're just leaving. We gotta go pick up some shit. We're in the car. This was normal conversation. This is where you got lost. You started going in a circle. The GPS you, fucked up. No, you started taking the same fucking turn. And then you're like, don't turn the camera on. And I said, oh, I'm turning it on. And then you try to take the same left. And then fucking do it again. And right here, I'm either talking about flag football or that biker that we got behind. I can't remember. We went into the dispensary, had to come right back out because we had to go get cash because all the ATMs are fucking down or whatever the fuck. Now we're leaving the 7-Eleven. I had to pick up a new Perrier because you got me the only flat Perrier out of the fridge that there was. Yeah. <laughs> and we're headed back to the weed shop. We copped at the weed shop and we're headed back home. Something was funny. <laughs> I got some boxes. We yeah, we picked those up from the old apartment. Yeah. Some Kith shit. Boom. America. I stuck around for the box. Yeah, I showed you the box. That's what you stuck around for. And then you were talking about the gold. And you said that was going to wipe off. Because the sticker said it was going to wipe off. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know what I'm saying. Something about the knit. They're easier to slip into. Oh, uh, yeah. They're easier than the Kith. Other Kith. For sure. Boop. Just like that. Little room in the toe. Look at that shoe review. On feet. Boom. Gosha. That's a Gosha mid for those who don't know. Whoop, I caught weed. Cherry Diesel, my new favorite. Scooby Snacks. They only let me have a quarter. Earn $600 hat. <laughs> Omar in the cut. <laughs> Fucking. What up? Guess what you didn't do this morning? What? You didn't check the mic on the camera. No. All of it. No sound. None. Uh, and I have no idea about yesterday because I haven't gotten that far. No, it can't be yesterday's too. It had to be gone. It's a, that sounds like a lot of hope in your voice, but... No, uh, no, no. I got faith in the day oh, before. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll be back with you soon. Hey, um... Uh, hey. Awesome. I already talked to... Um, the printing guys, they got all those samples from me over the week. Did you just tweet? Uh, I tweeted about Sean, whether, well, so Adidas bootleg. So the reason that I stopped really liking Nike back in the day is they bootleg. One big thing was they started bootlegging their own shit. Like a lot of the Nike SB became 6.0 like versions of it or whatever. So it really turned me off. I don't think there's any reason why you should repeat ideas like that. <laughs> Camera's in a really good place. Hold on, I'm still getting in the seat. Whoa, that dab was too high. <laughs> oh, yeah, so they bootlegged all their own shit. They just started offering, you know, 
a $60 version of a shoe that someone got beat up over. The only reason they do shit like that is to scale it profit-wise. Like some fucking big wig fuckface sits in an office and he's like, well, the profit's here. It's all numbers, you know. These yeah, people aren't like, the we make profit off this shoe, what? so why not fucking why not? drop it? Yeah, I do it, keep doing it. There's an NMD that looks like a bootleg version of the Bape NMD. They're essentially just doing the same thing. It's just the same mistakes, like they're doing the same shit, they're doing the same shit with my ID, just saturating the market with some Nike Air, Air Max did the same thing. They, like you could go get, you could make, when Nike ID came out, you could make so many different fucking Air Maxes. And there are so many different levels of Nike ID, premium levels, and you can get all these crazy color combinations and all this shit, but they're just redoing it. Like and now they're redoing it, and you used to be able to do this back in the day, like Nike Lab, you could go there in New York. If you knew the connections, you could go there and make your shoe. So it's, they're just making those same mistakes. And I really think that the big problem is shoes and street culture and fashion and all that shit is taking on like a collaborative stance you can't have one without you without people wearing your shit yeah you can't really have any kind of like traction people that are wearing the shit have become more of the voice of the product than any and people are gonna think i'm talking about myself and i'm not because i don't know I, I know but people about. have become the voice like influencers who actually influence people there's designers who design them. you get on fucking instagram all day pages and pages of people who come up with different concepts for shoes and yet you have people who have full-time fucking jobs that are being paid to churn out the same bullshit and then everybody is supposed to just buy it you know the random consumer or whatever like the general consumer which was my argument for ultra boost when people like they're dropping too many colors like this is for general consumers yeah that's fine mixing it up you're changing shit like granted every color is not a hit like every color is not something that you have to have but there's different color combos fucking copying the same shit over and over and over again and then using the tagline calling all creators that's the real thing that fucking pisses me off how dare you use that fucking terminology you know what i'm saying like you don't really mean it like, call and hang up on the creator maybe but yeah. you ain't fucking waiting on the line you ain't talking about nothing you're not open to ideas there's none of that and again i'm not talking about myself yeah. any fucking body like, Anything should have been learned from sneakers this year. <clears throat> it should have been from Sean Weatherspoon and Nike's collab. Sean Weatherspoon is a, by all intents and he owns a business, he's smart as fuck, but he's a regular dude. You know, like you can go and have a conversation with Sean. He owns a store, like it's attainable. It's an attainable thing. Like 13 year old kid can look yeah. at the lineage that Sean made and be like, damn, that has a fucking story. That has a real story that people feel like they're involved in. Like if they can't dip down and collaborating, like really being a collaborative company, even if it went down to the individual because they do it with consortium. Consortium has that cool look. It's like, oh, this is a different company, like a more low key company company's take on a big company's product that's yeah. cool that's got like a vibe why not take that down to the street level and be like you know i want this dude like just find a random fucking dude i don't know yeah. and and i know it's not just the designer's fault too because i mean i talk to adidas designers i know that they're told what they can and can't do sometimes i know that they're like limited to a lot of things there's a lot of strategy that goes into oh, shit. it's like yeah. corporate strategy but my argument is that it's short-sighted like it's short-sighted as fuck not realizing how nike had this lull and how it happened or why it happened is really silly and then to just fucking copy it fucking go down the same road and a lot of people will argue like well look at nike's stock look at nike's this from the last like look at how many people nike's laid off yeah. in the past two years you know it's like yes you can grow this th and that's like corporate blood sucking mindset yeah. like oh we'll grow as big as we need to we'll hire yeah. as many but as soon as we don't need them we'll like, spend them yeah and that's fucked up what adidas and all corporations need to do is work really hard at making me forget their corporation too far gone like you're so big but you really got to work really fucking hard to make me believe as a consumer that you are not a blood-sucking white guy behind a fucking desk with a red tie and a white shirt on who's like fuck them like the vibe that you get wearing the product yeah. is what creates everything the yeah. fucking vibe of walking into the mall and seeing his shoes like oh it kind of looks like the bape nmd is not the vibe you want like yes you will have a couple of like a of course it's gonna sell yeah. like, we're not talking about sales we're talking yeah. about perception of a company shitting on your own legacy why shit on your own legacy when you don't have to <laughs> there's sound on this there's no sound on this one is the mic like shorting out <laughs> someone just tweeted me about comic-con they said you should come to comic-con and i said san diego don't insult me like there's any comic-con that's other that's better tweeting him that you're coming Dude, come out towards the when, end of the week. When is it though? It's next week. It's like Monday. I through need numbers. When I get on a fucking airline, I just say I need a flight for next week. Um, the sixteenth, Monday through Friday. It's a week long. 
Yeah. Well, I don't know if it's a week long. I have to find out the dates. I know I'm going the 16th. I'm flying to LA, getting a van and driving to San Diego, setting up. And then I think, yeah, I think it's like towards the end of that week and over the weekend. So they have a like, booth? Yeah. They have a full Evil Ink booth. And, and you're not even going to be there for Comic Con. No. Where's Comic Con? Yeah, yeah. No, you're not. I mean, you're kind of there, but it's Thursday through. No, I fly back Sunday night. Oh, I thought you said you're leaving on. No, no, no. Originally, I thought it was Monday through Friday. It, no, it's through Sunday. Jeez. Jesus fucking Christ. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I'd have to come for the weekend. I mean, yeah, I wouldn't want that would be the best time to come. Once I'm out there, I can just, I can get passes. I can I'm handle really worry about getting a pass. And I have a hotel, so you can just stay with me. Yeah, dude, I should have my itinerary tomorrow, which I'll have my hotel and all the info. Jesus, if I get there so fucking early and it's What are you going to be doing? Weekend, yeah. I have no fucking clue. I'll get my itinerary tomorrow and I'll know. I have no fucking clue. It's set up that long. Are they playing be. a show? No, they're not even going to be there. What? That's a, no, I'm working their booth because they can't come there and a lot of their fans know me. So it's you're working on a Comic-Con booth? Yes. This is what I said to you last week. I was like, I'm basically going just to like be in good graces. Like, oh, I couldn't make the tour, but I'm down to help. I'm just going to do it. That's why you want me to go so bad. <laughs> well, yeah. You have something to do. No. Hand me that. So Josh won't be there or nothing? It's just you? No. And yeah. you're just hanging by yourself? For a week in Cali. What is this? What do you want? The drawing. Oh. Uh, hold on, my rib. Ah. I'm watching too many Marilyn Manson Yeah, but I have no idea. I thought it was the whole week and then like I just had an extra day in the weekend. It looks like it's the weekend, so I don't know what the whole week, but my flight is Monday and then I leave Sunday night. Yeah, I guess let me know what's up and then tomorrow I can... I'll know it. tomorrow. I'll have my whole itinerary. I have to figure out what to do with Omar. Yeah, what a... Damn it. Serious work day today. Very serious. It's already fucking 2.30. We're out here working. Yeah. We're finishing up the work, finish up our responsibilities. There's an email blast going out for the friends and family. Right now, for a few minutes. We gotta run down to the old apartment, grab my last kit order, run by FedEx, grab a pair of Yeezys, come back, hit off this voiceover, and then be done. And then I actually have to start working on coloring the graphics for the, the drop. It's a very busy day. It's a very busy Monday. Some would say case of the Mondays. You get your ass kicked talking around me like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like it. What movie is that, bro? Uh, you get a case of the Mondays? Reckon you might get your ass kicked saying something like that. I don't know. Really? I've heard a case of the Mondays before, but I don't know what movie the second part's from. E.T.? Office Space. Mmm. The heat is a sun. Oh. The heat is for real. I don't like the whole, like... So one of the big responses today of all this talk on the internet, because Twitter keeps going all day, people see the tweets way late. I'm already over my rant about Adidas, I don't care anymore. But one big response people always have is that everybody does it. You know, to anything, not just shoes, like just in life. Like, oh, well, everybody does that. I'm like, well, that's not, like, yeah. okay, like, cool. Like, I, I don't I like it. I still don't like it. <laughs> yeah, like, and yeah. I don't like that that's a level of acceptance that you're just like, well, everyone does it, so we're just gonna accept that. And just, you know, whatever. We shouldn't critique, we shouldn't say anything. We shouldn't Maybe that's the artist in me. I don't I love that. Yeah, I don't necessarily need technological innovation in everything as much as I just, I mean, almost, I'm almost asking to be tricked. Just trick me. Like, just fucking trick me. Well, that's what you said. You're like, if, if I don't know you're a corporation, I'm not thinking about it at the time, whatever. I'm so obvious. It's like how I feel with vitamin water. The campaigns, it's like, yo, we're going to put rappers in a McDonald's parking lot. They're going to do a pop-up rap yeah. show. And it Meanwhile, they're like peddling sugar water. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, exactly. But yeah, but it's like there's nothing even cool about it. No one comes out, no one cares. It's like, yeah, they bring a press team there, 30 people that are there, they make I I get it, but like It's, it's almost just, like that type of shit doesn't connect anymore. That's same what I'm thing saying. with the venues. That's like, what I'm saying. Same it's thing like, with like 747 and shit. I mean, like, that was gr a cool event. There's a lot yeah. of they definitely put forth like a massive amount of effort. I mean, all that technology they fucking throw in there and yeah. like bringing Kanye and Kid Cudi and all that shit, that's pretty huge. They continue to do these parties where bring out different people. At least from where I'm sitting, there's not like a lot of connectivity. Like I don't feel like people yeah. are looking to Young Thug and being like, oh shit, let me got that Adidas because of Young Thug. They don't really, you don't think of them together, but Young Thug is on Adidas. It's almost just like, this, like the formula, the festival formula, the yeah. carnival formula. The everybody's been doing it for me. This thing is just not engaging, you know, it's, you're not thinking about the fact that people have to come out and stand in the heat and get in line. Same shit with like VidCon and Comic Con and all these other like cons. Yeah. And maybe some people like that part of it. I maybe, mean, they, yeah. I don't know how they do it because they do. Like, I know people that go stand on those lines. I couldn't. Not do they to complain sound about all. It? Complain about it though? Or they're... I, don't, I mean, they're like. I don't remember anybody coming into SneakerCon being like, man. 
just stood in that three hour line dog nah, I'm, yes, I'm cool yeah. man that shit was fucking fun as fuck homie yeah. I think uh, fucking eventually people won't even leave their fucking house I think that all commerce will take place digitally For down sure, to food shopping. and everything and then this outside everything outside will hopefully be, be mother coasters. nature I think it'll go oh. back to like nature that too roller coasters will be tight too depends on who takes <laughs> over right you choose your own adventure everywhere. we'll see we'll see who if Elon just Musk takes over it's just crazy not wild wilderness cultivated wilderness but you can like go and be in nature you know like the weed it. we got this week is really good apparently <laughs> Terry diesel is my new shit i need a pound of it <laughs> real i know you're for real that's why i'm laughing but <laughs> i know that you're not kidding 98 degrees one of the best boy bands of our generation <laughs> had to make a pit stop to grab some steaks prosciutto Ern got a big ass porterhouse. Then we're going home because I forgot we have frag. No, oh, and then Ern's got to go. We had to remind him he's got flag. Brandy has, Brandy has flag football game. Yep. Wait, have they practiced? No, there's no practice. They don't even practice. It's very casual. <laughs> it's a very casual grope fest. Can you give me a count of how many times some dude grabs her butt? I'm gonna. I'm gonna You're gonna, gonna fight somebody. No. You're gonna have to run under the field and be like, get your hands off my wife. Like, sir, it's flag football. Yeah, and I'm calling the red flag yeah. right now. <laughs> it's your goddamn hands off my wife. You know what movie that's from? Raising Arizona dog. You know, there's a movie with Natalie Portman where she has a baby in a Walmart. Like she gives birth to the baby? Yeah, you know? where the heart Turn is. Turn left, 10th Avenue. Love star. Sounds like Might be similar to Raising Arizona. Raising Arizona, the kid's name's Arizona? It takes place in Arizona. Oh. Uh, Have you never seen it? No. Shut the fuck up. I don't You've think... never seen no. Raising Arizona? No. Bro, Maybe it's well. amazing. It's one of the best movies ever made. Turn left. Really? Never? Yeah. I have no idea what it's even about. What the fuck? Who are you? It's a Coen Brothers movie. It's like one of the first. Maybe the first. I don't even know. I'm not a fucking nerd like that. Oh my god. I can't believe you've never seen it. John Goodman's in it. Nick Cage. Oh, Nicholas think. Cage. Yeah. He's yeah. Nicholas unless it's an action movie. Yeah, it's Nick Cage. I'm not really into the whole left on red thing. I don't even know if it's really... Yeah, weird. you can take a left on red here if it's a one way. Oh. It's a, yes, it's... Yes, it's a law. Comment below. below. <laughs> I swear to fucking God. Why would I make that up? Uh -huh. On a one-way street, you can turn left on red. That guy's shirt said trashy and sassy. Ooh. Yeah. He's probably playing flag football tonight with your wife. No wonder Brandy's not talking to me right now. She doesn't want to talk about flag football. She's preparing. She's she knows mentally... the game soon. We gotta get home, finish this up. I gotta go meet all our teammates for the first time and play a game where they all run back and forth and touch each other. Where are the flags gonna be? I don't know where they're gonna be. Hey, what's going on? Watching the movie. Been non-stop. I don't know. You'll have to watch the vlog to see. I can't <laughs> recap at all. Ba okay. Babe? Babe? What? I'll see you soon. Me and Teddy look forward to coming to the game. No. No, Teddy's not coming. I'm playing. I joined the league <laughs> after I heard. The other oh, yeah. I'm You're gonna get your butt groped. You know this, right? Well, look at that license plate. No, I'll throw a punch. The flags have to hang over your butt. Are they gonna put them on your shoulders? It's like a, you're like a, your butt turns into a matador at this point. It's just like waving a red flag. For... Uh, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, I'm interested to hear all about it. Oh, <laughs> I love you, babe. I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. I'm going to Google flag. Flag football sexual harassment. <laughs> So they should have a flag ponytail that hangs off the back yeah. and like snatch it off the back of their head. Better than two-hand touch co-ed leagues. Yeah, I don't even know what primitive world we live in. No offensive line. Broken you know? arm. What? No. <clears throat> two second, um, one Mississippi, two Mississippi counts and charge in and they can blitz. It's a lot of different rules because they can't play with a line. They're not going to have people like blocking the person who gets the ball thrown to them. So they're playing Red Rover with a ball and some flags. What's Red Rover? Red Rover, Red Rovers, and such and such over. People interlock arms, you gotta break through the arms. Yes. I bit motherfuckers off. They'd hold them all high, try to clothesline these. I like, I <laughs> just bit some motherfuckers. Like, oh, I'm like, hey. Playing with the older kids too, they thought they were gonna fucking sun me. It's like, nah, son, you just got bit. Yeah. Got bit by a kindergartner, now what? I'm not through my biting stage yet. You got fucked up. Yeah. Miscalculated today, didn't you? Is the mic on? Let's hope so. Todd outside. Um. Two different shirts. No, one shirt front and back. I knew it. I knew it. I fucking front 
Mm -hmm. I don't, I just need to grab my meat and beat it. <laughs> See ya, dude. Make sure you grab the correct meat before you beat it. Right. So that's pretty much the uh, day in the last few days. Shit is crazy. I, we were buried under work. All weekend I worked. I have to finish this because I need to start doing coloring. Got to get coloring over to Scruff so that we can get the digital graphics done so that we can get everything off. Get this shit rolling. So, but I did get a couple of packages. Another pair of butters, which I have to say, out of all the colors in the, the Yeezy realm, I like them. I think the butters might be one of my favorite colors out of all of it. It's, it's got the solar yellow without being like ridiculously bright. I don't know, I like it. I like these muted off tones. I think people have had complaints about Yeezys no matter what in colorway wise. Like when we got a bunch of black shoes with stripes, that was a complaint. So there's always like something to complain about. Everybody's waiting for the V3. But most people are waiting for the V3 so they can talk shit about it too. I know I went on the rant earlier about them copying themselves and doing the same thing. There's there's weird lines there. I don't I have no problem with them releasing like a Yeezy or an Ultra Boost in a whole bunch of fucking different colors. It's just when they start making stuff that just there's no no real reason for it. Second pair that's shown up and this pair I actually ended up hooking up a subscriber on Twitch as he's also on Twitch. He's gonna get this pair that goes to him and then I have another pair that are coming that I'm gonna paint on. And I have to order more paint because I'm a weirdo and I need like every color that exists. I can't can't just can't have like six colors. All that soon. Just like butter to me. And then yes, I did get these in. I've been wearing them all day. 16s. Boom, 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 boom. A lot of people thought these were 17s. Ah, they're the 16 and the more flimsy version of the shoe. They're nice. They're, I like them. A lot of people half size down them because of the room in the toe. I still want it true to size because it's a little bit narrow. I, I fuck with it. I, I like this. I think I have every model of this shoe. So adding this into the collection is great. I did get three pairs, but I'm selling the other two. One pair is, a, or they're both already sold, basically. Yeah, I didn't need to get three. Shout out to Soul Strike, though. They hit me with a three fucking hat trick. But yeah, super dope. Gold accent. Probably my favorite part. People wanted to compare these to the other mids. They're nothing alike. I compared it on Twitter. This is like a windbreaker. The other one's like a winter coat. The mids are just they're the same in the look and the texture. But they fit your foot completely different. Just to give you a little heads up tip there. And this is the rest of the kit stuff that I got from that collection. I have more stuff coming that um, I didn't get, which I honestly didn't even know some of it existed. And we got the blue. Tracksuit. This is not a onesie. This is the actual jacket. Oh shit, this is all stitched on the back of this one. Nice. Hey, what's up? Go to dog stuff. Let me finish. Let me finish. Go outside. Nice. So uh, yeah, this is a little baggy. Could probably wear an XL in it, but I like it. Nonetheless, another pair of white shorts, which makes three pairs. I gotta sell two. I don't need three pairs of white shorts. Even though I'm probably gonna destroy these pretty quickly. We'll go with the tracksuit. I'd have gotten this and not just the... This feels like a different material than the other shit though. We'll have to see. But yeah, and then I got some wind pants coming too. So yeah, that's pretty much it. If you're in the friends and family group, who got an email today with a video. So check your emails. We got a lot going on as usual, but we'll be back tomorrow. Check back in and see what What's happening on the spinning planet we call Earth? All right, we'll see you tomorrow. Peace. This green with this blue does not match. Peace.